Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will talk about what is the best content marketing strategy. As you already know, because I told you about it in the last video, content marketing has become one of the most effective and profitable strategies for different companies that seek to grow, reach a broader audience, and consolidate themselves in the internet world. However, there are so many ways to implement strategies that it can be difficult to determine which option is best for your business. Well, that will be over shortly, as I will tell you how to find it and everything you need to know to implement it. First of all, it is important to understand that the best content marketing strategy varies according to each company and other aspects, such as its age, its target audience, and the products or services it offers. What works for one company will not necessarily work for another. In this way, there is no particular one that is the best or the most profitable. But to develop an ideal content marketing strategy, you must follow the following steps. Know your audience. You need to understand who your target audience is or who your potential customers are and what kind of content they are interested in. To do this, you must be clear about what your business is about. Define your buyer persona, that is, the ideal client. From this, you can conduct market research, data analysis, and trend monitoring and study competitors. With this information, you will be able to create content that is relevant and useful for your audience. Consequence, more users will find you, click on your content, read it from cover to cover, increase their average time spent on the website, and you will increase your sales and customers too. Spread your content. If you are targeting young people, then it is essential to use multiple distribution channels, such as social networks, email, paid advertising, etc., to reach a larger number of people. Remember that the website is a very valuable tool for companies today, but it must be complemented with social networks, which are used by thousands of users daily. Here is another tip, my friends. It is not necessary to create an account on all social networks, but on the ones where your target audience is. For example, if you sell products for young people, then you must be present and spread your content through from Facebook. Have a diverse and balanced content strategy. If the challenge were to write and publish, everything would be very simple, but it is not so, my friends. Your content, more precisely your texts or web articles, should include different formats, such as videos, images, and text to meet the needs of your audience. You should also balance your content to cover all aspects of your business, from product promotion to education and entertainment. All this specifically implies the following. On the one hand, a well-written, simple, clear, coherent text that follows each of the CO requirements shown, for example, by the plugin called Rank Math. On the other hand, remember that you are not making generic texts, but that you should talk about your own products and place internal links so that users click and go to those products in order to increase dissemination and sale. Also, another essential factor in the internet world, my friends, is to be consistent. You need to post content at least two to three times a week to keep your audience engaged, build your brand, and increase qualified web traffic and the success of your business, the company. Measure and analyze your results. And it is at this point, my friends, that you are going to be able to discover if the content marketing campaign that you are implementing on your website is effective and profitable, or if you need to make changes. What does it mean to measure and analyze results? Track the growth metrics of your website through tools like Google Search Console, Google Analytics, Simrush, etc. If in these tools you see that your web traffic, your CTA, and other important metrics are growing, and you are also receiving more inquiries or selling more, then it means that your content marketing campaign is being successful and that you should continue in this way. It is specifically about monitoring your metrics to understand what is working and what is not working in your content marketing strategy. With this information, you can adjust your strategy and improve your results in the long term. In short, the best content marketing strategy will depend on your business and your audience, but also on you, my friend. Follow these steps. Watch the previous video again where I explain how to carry out a content marketing campaign and you will have guaranteed success. And we've come to the end of a new video, my friends. I hope you have found it useful and, as always, I ask you to like it if you liked it, to subscribe to the channel to receive new content, and to write in comments what you thought. Thank you very much and see you next time.